So friends, this is a picture that they say was taken on Audubon. And I've always wondered where it was and I was standing here studying, just kind of looking around. And if you see the, the V right there in the house with the window, I'm gonna show you where that's at. Now keep in mind that the chimney is obscured in the crease of the page. But if you look right there, you will see it is that right there. And you can see that there's a carport going back on this side. This picture evidently is very, very old when they first moved into this house before they built the fence. And it is in the backyard about where the swimming pool would be pointing back this way and you can see this house in the background of it. The, the house that you see right here is over here where my thumb is to the right of that picture. So there you go, friends, just another little piece of the puzzle. So I was going to point out a couple of things in the picture. If you look just above Elvis's head left of the crease, that looks kind of like Lamar Fike. This would have been early 56, which would be before uh, he joined the entourage. Everything says that he was part of Elvis's entourage in 57, which is possible. Then to the right is a very young Bobby Smith. White shirt with the collar, kind of a muscle type shirt. You can see his uh, hair. And in this angle, you can see the back of Audubon. A lot of the same people you saw in the previous photograph. Same motorcycle, same hat. Just a day in the life of Elvis in the backyard with fans gathering around. So let's move on down the street here on Audubon. So friends, this is Audubon. This is the street that Elvis lived on in 1956 when he started making a bunch of money. Heartbreak Hotel bought the Audubon house. This house is on the same street. This is 1130 and something significant happened here this is a young man that lived in this house that did some significant things first he lived on this street when Elvis lived on this street if you go right around that curve right there and I'll show you in a moment Audubon house is literally around the curve up on the top right so they're both on the same side of the street now I think the young man that lived here from my memory was seven or eight years old when Elvis lived there and this young man started or was one of the co-founders of Ardent Music Studios which is still running today the second thing he did did is March 16th, 1971, Elvis was here at RCA Studios recording and had severe eye pain. He was chartered on a private jet to fly Dr. Nick and Dr. David Meyer, which was the top ophthalmologist in the state of Tennessee at the time. He flew them to Nashville Baptist Hospital where Elvis was staying in a hotel that they have that's actually attached to the hospital and look at him and diagnose him. And it was at this time that he was diagnosed with aritis and secondary glaucoma. This was uh, a time that he was in fact diagnosed with glaucoma. The third thing is he was in college and he was in business school and he created he was tasked to create a a business idea that would be viable would work and he came up with an idea actually got a c on it that idea was called fedex this is the childhood home of fred smith the founder of fedex so now you know friends there's an elvis tie to fedex who would have ever known and so that happened right here on this street in this house so we're going to go up here to this little intersection section right here and I'll show you how close together the houses are. Stay tuned. So friends, you see this is Audubon. The greenhouse that you see in the distance, that's Elvis's house on Audubon. The yellow house that you see right here was Fred Smith's house. That close together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten houses apart. Greatness, friends. Elvis and Fred Smith, the founder of FedEx right there, right here on this street on Audubon in Memphis, Tennessee. So another little tidbit is Fred did say that he went to Elvis's when he was living there. He was about 12 years old and did swim in the pool. The Dixie Greyhound bus line. This is the building in Memphis and Red actually talks about them leaving from here and going to Nashville. So there's Elvis ties to Fred Smith and Fred Smith Sr. all around, including the mention of Greyhound in a song. So one last little thought. I wonder if any of these kids in this photograph are Fred Smith. Did Fred tighten up and go down and see Elvis when he was a kid? I would have. Wouldn't you? And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened 
So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.